So the Google Pixel 5 5G is here. Let's check it out. So first things first, I want to give a big thanks to Tink Pixel for sending out all this awesomeness as a gift from Google. We've got the Pixel 5 5G, Pixel 5 case, and the Pixel Buds. So I'll be getting into the Pixel Buds in the case at a later time. But this video right now is specifically, you know, on the Pixel 5 5G. Now this here is the Sorta Sage green color here. Got Team Pixel there, 5G. Yes, very excited to actually get into this phone. And this is the first time um, of actually holding this phone and using it. And there it is. The Pixel 5. Let's go ahead and pull this phone out and put it to the side for a moment and see what else we do get here in the box. So we do get some Google literature, stuff like that in the box. And also in the box, I'm going to leave this all in here because I don't really need all this stuff um, as I got other <laughs> chargers and cables. But you got your 18 watt fast charger, your USB Type C to Type C. And your Type A to Type C little transfer cable in there as well. Really nice for them to include all of that here in the box. But that's all there is in the box. So let's go ahead, put all this away. And we'll go ahead here and take a look at the Pixel 5. So right away, it reminds me a lot of the Pixel 4a by the way it just feels. Let's go ahead and pull this plastic off here. Oh yeah, feels a lot like the Pixel 4a. I mean, you can't really tell any difference in the size of the phones. Of course, you see back here, the dual camera module with the flash and all that kind of good stuff. Fingerprint scanner there on the back. On the left here, we got your semi ejection or semi ejector, no SD card slot, but this is nano SIM and also eSIM as well. On the bottom, type C, speaker, microphone. This does have stereo speakers, hole punch camera up there in the front. On the right, of course, um, the volume rocker feels the same as the body of the phone, so really nice. Also, your shiny power button there. And yeah, on top, there's a secondary microphone. So new headphone jack here on this device. So I'll go ahead and give you the specs here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and power the phone on first. There we go. Got Google. So very, very interested here to try out this phone. The 5G, the 765 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And I'll get into all the specs here when the phone is all set up. I was going to do it at the beginning of the video, but yeah, that didn't happen. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead, get this phone here all set up. I'll be back shortly. So we're all set up now and ready to go. Now first, I'm gonna give you the specs of this device. I'll be as brief as possible here. Now starting off with the hardware, the display, all that stuff. This phone has a six inch OLED display coming in at 1080 by 2340 with a 19 by five by nine aspect ratio with a PPI of 432 with a 90 hertz refresh rate and HDR 10 plus. It has cornering Gorilla Glass 6, always on display. The front glass is made of Gorilla Glass 6. It has aluminum back with aluminum frame. I want to say it's like a recycled aluminum, but hey, it's all good. This phone also has IP68 dust and water resistance up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. For the processor, this phone runs the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G octa-core processor with an Adreno 620 GPU. So really good mid-range specs there. This phone also runs Android 11. This phone has 8 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage with no SD card slot. Now for the camera, we have a dual camera setup, a 12.2 megapixel wide angle camera with an aperture of f 1.7 with optical image stabilization, a 16 megapixel f 2.2 ultra wide at 107 degrees. Records in 4K, 30 or 60 frames per second, and 1080p at 30, 60 frames, all that kind of good stuff there. Selfie camera is an 8 megapixel wide lens with aperture of f 2.0, records at 1080p at 30 frames per second. 
This phone does have stereo speakers. Like I mentioned earlier, this phone has Wi-Fi 802.11abgnac dual band Wi-Fi with Bluetooth 5.0 and USB Type-C 3.1. The Pixel 5 has a 4080 non-removable LiPo battery with 18 watt fast charging, wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging, and has a rear mounted fingerprint scanner, uh, proximity sensor, compass, barometer, all that kind of good stuff there. And it comes in two colors, just black and sort of sage, which is what you see in right here, the sort of sage color. And that's about all I'm gonna hit on right now with the specs of the Google Pixel 5. Now, like I may mention earlier, it reminds me a lot of the Pixel 4a. Now, of course, the 4a is in a little gel skin case, but they're basically the exact same size. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the texture of this phone, I love the texture. I mean, it is aluminum on the back, on the sides, with your Gorilla Glass 6 here on the front, and this phone just feels good in the hand. I mean, I, I'm not even kidding with you. It's got this little texture to it that makes it just feel very grippy. So let's go ahead here. Now you can open the phone up, of course, with your pin pattern password. But of course, fingerprint scanner works great. I mean, that fingerprint scanner, boom, ready to go every single time. Basic stock Android here. I mean, all of the essentials that you need on a phone, all right here. Beautiful. Beautiful device. The display is just super crispy. It's super clear. And I just love the Pixel. Okay. The stock Android experience is so clean looking. I mean, barely any bezels. So if you don't like bezels, I mean, you can see the bezels there are very small on this device. Okay. Pulling the drop down here, you will see all your typical stuff, your Wi Fi auto rotate flashlight so it's always nice to have a nice bright flashlight here on your device you got screen record nearby share all that good stuff there now going into the settings here for just a little bit got your network and internet so you got your wi-fi mobile network airplane hotspot and tethering got your private dns with your vpn all that good stuff there connect the devices so you do have Bluetooth, NFC, you can cast your screen, printing services, uh, Chromebook, driving mode, uh, Android Auto, nearby share, all that kind of good stuff there. Got your battery. So this phone here, 4,080 milliamp hour battery. I'm expecting this to get good battery life. Now we'll be doing battery tests on this. Device. Well, actually battery test is very subjective. Of course, my usage patterns are not your usage patterns. So, you know, it's hard to really do battery tests because everybody's going to experience difference in battery, screen on time, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'll give you my experience with the battery here in a little while. Now, of course, display, brightness level, dark theme is on automatically, night light, adaptive brightness. you got styles on wallpapers, so you can choose all the different styles here, default, custom, sand, carbon. I'm going to leave it right now as it is. Now, advanced screen time has got to five minutes. Yeah. Screen attention, leave that off. Colors is adaptive, boosted, or natural. So uh, you can tell a bit of the difference here by going between different uh, modes. But I'll leave it right now at adaptive. You got your smooth display. So it automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content. Increases battery usage. I'm going to turn that off because, honestly, I don't need 90 hertz. That's not really a need that I really need on a phone. So 60 hertz to save battery, yeah, there you go. And typical stuff the rest of the way down there. Now, storage is 128 gigs with 14.4 already used out of the box. So you got around 114 gigabytes used here on this device. You got your privacy, location, security, so no face unlock here on this device, but you got your pin pattern password, your pixel imprint, smart lock, and all that kind of good stuff there. Accessibility, digital well-being, system. Of course, you got your gestures here. Swipe fingerprint verifications, quickly open camera, flip camera for selfie, system navigation. So of course, your, you can use your gestures or your little three buttons on the bottom. We will just verify that. So yes, you can. Go back to the bottom buttons if you don't like to use the swipe, the gesture navigation, which I'm really got used to on this device. Flip to shh. 
<laughs> power menu, show device controls. So I'll leave all of that alone for right now. Now here at advanced, you will see we are on Android 11 with October 5th, 2020 security patch. So yeah, brand new Pixel 5. I'm very interested to try this phone on Verizon, on T-Mobile to see how this phone works, my experience with it, the battery life, the display is beautiful, six inch display, OLED, um, 90 hertz, which I'm not really, I don't really care about 90 hertz, but it's got it. Got your phone dialer here, which is just your typical standard phone dialer, nothing special there. Now in the messaging, you got all this smart messaging, stuff like that, start a chat, and we'll go in here and just look at the emojis, because I know everybody loves the emojis. And this phone has plenty of it. So yeah, no no shortage there. The 765G with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I am expecting this phone to run flawlessly. Of course, I'm going to download all of my games that I know that I play. I will make a video about the gameplay, show how it does, and all that kind of good stuff. Now here in the camera, for just, just for a little bit, uh, we'll look around. Now motion is enabled. It says it's got camera. You got portrait, you got night sight, of course, with the astrophotography, all of that goodness here. You got your video mode, and you got more for panorama, photosphere, slow motion, time lapse, and lenses. So let's go ahead and go back here to camera. Got your flash, motion photo, timer, and you can go between 4x3 and 16x9. But here in the settings, you got your location, camera sounds, Google lens, all of this good stuff here gestures volume key for your shutter double tap action to zoom i mean yeah advanced features here you can it shows dirty lens warning on or off raw plus jpeg control store videos efficient efficiency of <laughs> store videos efficiently and social media depth features all that kind of stuff you can get into Camera, photo resolution, video stabilization, audio zoom, zooming in on an object, boosts sound, and reduces background noise. So a really nice feature there here on this device. Really excited to try this phone out. I really, really am. Now looking here at the video, actually, yeah, into the video here. And you got full HD at 30 and 60 frames and 4K at 30 and 60 frames. So... All y'all that wanted 4K60, here you go. 128 gigabytes of storage. Of course, no SD card slot, but that kind of storage, you really don't need it, to be honest. Now, front-facing camera. Now, the video does look a bit cropped in. That's to be expected here. Uh, using the Pixel 4 XL for this video. So, all goodness there. Camera. Yeah. Selfie illumination, face retouching, timer ratio was 4 by 3 16 by 9 all that good stuff there. And the same things here, frequent faces, advanced. So all that stuff coming up later, you know, in a follow-up. But this is the Pixel 5. And I'm loving it so far. Big fan of the Pixels. Really interested to try this phone out. Battery test, gaming test. Stay tuned for my follow-up video here on this phone. Much more to come. The cases, the Pixel Buds, all that will be in a later video here as well. So let me know in the comment section below what y'all think of the Pixel 5. I think it's a great phone. And I'm very thankful to be able to have this phone in hand to unbox and review for y'all. And to try out and all that kind of good stuff. So... That being said, if it's helpful in the form of it anyway, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it below, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you won't miss out on any notifications. Hopefully, I know lately, notifications have just not been going out from what I've been hearing. So, um, but yeah, hit that bell. Hopefully, you'll get the notifications. Y'all have a good one. And thanks for watching.